Hey everyone, it's Lisa Bonjean from Primitive Gatherings and I'm here today with Jessica. And today we are going to show off all the beautiful quilts in a trunk show called Home for the Holidays by, by Sherry McConnell and Chelsea Stratton. They are a mother-daughter duo out of Utah and uh, Nevada, I think. No, they both are in Nevada, not Utah. I know, did she just move last year or something? I don't know. Close to Vegas. <laughs> That's where they live. Somewhere out west. Yeah, in the nice dry desert out there. But anyways, they absolutely love Christmas and it all stems from their grandmother's love of Christmas and making stuff for everybody at the holidays. So we are going to share all of the quilts in this book from Mother Daughter Duo and we will start in the beginning called Christmas Lap Quilt. On that side Jessica's here to help me so it's a little bit easier. Okay so oops see the back first. There you go. So simple stars, very nice. And these, this is, I think, Lella, uh, Vanessa's fabric from yep. Lella Boutique, one of her Christmas lines. So they're, they're not just using their fabrics. The book is a collaboration of a bunch of fabric. So you can take their color options from them or do your own sort of Christmas theme, whatever that looks like in your home. But beautiful, beautiful quilting. Nice evenly balanced. There's the backing as well. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so waiting for Santa. And this one has a couple other little things with it as well. So let's see what they have. Waiting for Santa. Pillow and mug rug. Okay, oh, okay. So a little mug rug. And then this is a pillow. So Sherry puts a big flange on the back with a zipper to put in there for a pillow, or this could easily be a table runner as well. Again, using half square triangles. Ooh, sorry. In a, she's got a diagonal pattern going on there with them, all using Christmas colors. Very I love nice. that it's quilted too, it's quite yeah. heavy duty. Yeah, it's got some nice batting in there, some little heavier duty stuff, I think. All right, Peppermint Twist is up next. And I believe this looks like, is this there, some of their fabrics? Uh, or is this Figgy Christmas? I don't know. No, it's theirs. Yeah. This is kind of the design from Sincerely Yours. Yeah, yeah, that's what that kind of looked like to me too as well. Yeah, because I did, I am s stitching with some of that, so I do recognize it. But boy, look at this one. Simple, but yet cool, and look at this pattern. I'll have to show some of the guys some of these new quilting patterns. That's a cool one. Nice big big clunky. There's the backing. Kind of show the light so they can see the quilting. Maybe they can see it really good on the front. Right. So There you go. Christmas star pillow is up. This is cute. Yep. So again, show the back of that. Um, I love making trees like this. They go together super fast. And that one has a one little lone star, the Bethlehem star mm -hmm. up there for Christmas. It's very sweet. Right, and I, I wanna try putting a binding on a pillow. I don't really do a lot <laughs> of that. So one of these days, uh, I'm gonna have to do that. And she just puts it right in that zipper there. That's yeah. like no big deal, right? Cool. All right, I'm gonna try binding one of my pillows. Crystal Sky Table Mates. So we got a nice runner and some coasters. That is beautiful. And a nice frosty blue, oh, and it's using um, Bunny Hill yep. fabric. And she's made it like two-sided the best she can. Cool. At the last minute, I started peeking through the book. <laughs> and um, those cookies look good. Yeah. Not, not only do the cookie, but this is really about something else. But there's recipes I wanted to point out. There is recipes in the book as well. 
But um, I noticed that um, one of the quilts in here has some of my fabric in, and they're like, we weren't going to tell you, but I ruined it for them. Okay, this one is called Amaryllis, which Ooh. is a flower, if you didn't know that. Um, look at this. this I like love this water. micro quilting on it. Yeah. Very nice size, kind of like a large wall size or behind a couch or a lap quilt. We got it upside down yeah. with the <laughs> quilting, but you get it. Look at that micro Baptist fan from Marion Bott. She's got awesome, awesome killer skills when it comes to picking the right design for a quilt. And then look at that scrappy binding. So see how you so use cute. up a lot of those fabrics by using them in the binding as well. All right, Christmas flower table runners on my side. So I know what Christmas flower is. I know that Sherry loves to do the grandmother's flower garden here. And then on this page, it also has raspberry jello salad. So that must be one of grandma's recipes, I bet. But so Moda has these pre-cut hexes with a lot of our lines nowadays. So look for those as well. Or if you're a diehard, you can do your own, cut your own, but I like I like the to get the paper pieces templates and then the pre-cuts and then you don't have yeah. to do a lot of that that prep work. It's all done for you. And uh, nowadays, when you don't have to do so many motions with your hands, it's starting to catch <laughs> up with me. She does have the template in here, so you know exactly what size. And this is easy adaptable to to if you wanted to make them a different size hexi yeah. as well. So very cool runner. I love that she uses those. Okay, next up is a quilt called Mistletoe. <laughs> I love this backing. Yeah, that's a fun one. So it's a bear paw in the Me and My Sister fabrics. I believe that's who these are. If I'm wrong, you can tar and feather me later. But I do believe, I think that's what those were. So many fun um, quilting designs again. Look at another new one. I never mm -hmm. saw this one either. But bear paw is definitely a favorite. So the next one is called Farmhouse Flannel Quilt. So I think we will have a kit for this one if you need a kit. We will put that in the link underneath the description if you want to go to the, our website, primitivegatherings.us, and get a kit for this because look at how nice and fun and easy that is. Sometimes these big blocks, get it done type quilts are the best on your time. And I love the way it's quilted too. The yeah, that is really strips. cool. It's kind of like a herringbone yep. type pattern, like almost mimics the wool. And if you want backing, we'll make sure that in, in, in our website description, we have a place for you to add the backing as well. Might not be this exact one. Yeah, but. I know. I don't think we have this one anymore, but we'll put something that will look good with the quilt. You just have to trust us that we're good at what we do. <laughs> Jessica's good at what she does. So, and if you want in the comment section, put like uh, red backing or green backing yep. or gray backing. Any comment will help us pick that. There's a lots of casserole, <laughs> lots of recipes in here. An overnight casserole. You know, I never found one of them that I absolutely love, love. So like an overnight casserole, yeah, the, you know, the casserole. egg bake thing that you yeah. put in the refrigerator, then you pop it in. To me, they're just not like, I mean, they're good and fast and easy, but I'd rather have regular eggs, but, right. but maybe one day we'll stumble upon one. That's just amazing. So if you have one, send it to me. I want to try it. All right. This goes with the last one. So she took her leftover strips and made kind of like a little bolster pillow for that quilt too. So I could see that as a nice little Christmas gift. Like I said, you don't, you don't have your whole life invested, invested in, in it, <laughs> but, uh, but then you can, that's the type of quilts you can make a bunch of quilts of to give everybody a quilt at Christmas time. Right. And, and so they remember us when we're gone. That's why mm -hmm. we do it. <laughs> Ooh, apple crisp, another recipe. My favorite. Okay. Ornamental tapered table topper. Yes. You like apple crisp, don't you? Yes. All right. Kind, kind of a mellow. nice little rail fence type quilt. Another fast and easy. This is a table topper. It's not a pillow. And like I said, 
the photography in these you're gonna wanna like stage this at your house exactly like they do it. Like go find a silver wreath and frosted bulbs and all that kind of stuff. It just looks so good with it, right? And make you wanna like eat that and... I love this, the mercury glass. Yeah, yeah. And the little frosted berries or with the sugar or whatever they're supposed to be. Classic tree skirt. I love, I love that. Simple and done. Look at this baby. Okay, so it's bound and everything. Here, I'll give you the two okay. finishing points. But look at this. So you, I, I would assume that you're making, just sewing squares together in a square and then you're gonna trim them up and put that circle in the middle. But sometimes a basic tree skirt is all you need and let the presence shine off of it. But this looks like a charm square, mm -hmm. charm pack. Last quilt is this one. And this one is called Poinsettia. We saved this for last, right? So I won't forget about it. <laughs> but uh, beautiful, beautiful, using Christmas fabrics. And it looks really mm -hmm. fun too. Again, another quilting design I've never seen before. But amazing. This is a big floral that's cut up. You know, it still looks good in the cross stitch. Mm -hmm. Like, look at this photo. See, don't you want to just live there at Christmas time? I do. Yeah. There'd be like a whole bunch of stains from David, but. <laughs> yeah. And uh, doggy prints, right? Doggy. Yeah, doggy prints. That's why there's a, that's why there's a um, cover. cover over it. Yeah, cause, so they can throw it in the washing <laughs> machine. All right, so is that it then? Yep, so they talk a lot about their tr Christmas traditions and lots more photos of mother and daughter. So a great, fun book with easy, I'd say really simple, yes. nice designs that won't suck up all your time that you have. And with this book, you can make everybody a Christmas present on your list right. or, you know, the naughty ones and the nice ones. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this awesome trunk show. Thank you, Sherry and Chelsea, for the wonderful book for us to share your quilts with. And make sure you go on and find Sherry at A Quilting Life and Chelsea at Chelsea Stratton Designs on Instagram and all their social media. Just Google them, you'll find them. Or we'll have some links to in the description. But gotta get this one, put it on your list everyone. Bye now.